What's up, y'all? I'm here to cover these awesome buffs and changes for the GOAT, Pangoro. These two abilities might not seem that incredible. You might not even know what they do at this point. If you are familiar with my work and you know what these do, you're probably already going, holy shit, this is awesome. So I've buffed Hustle massively. Um, there is a very detailed guide that you can see. It's very in-depth for all of the move buffs and changes, which there are over 600 of, by the way. Uh, you can see all those in the description down below. But for Hustle, Hustle has been buffed specifically because priority moves no longer miss, meaning that they will get that power boost and they bypassed the accuracy check and a select maybe dozen or so other moves that are just random assorted moves do not miss either. Um, so in terms of priority, which is already all you need, honestly, um, in terms of hustle moves that don't miss coming off of 134 base attack, which is absolutely insane. By the way, the only other fighting and dark type is uh, Scrafty, who has Moxie and Intimidate. So that's why I did not give Pangoro Intimidate. Otherwise, I probably would have because it would help him be a lot bulkier because and he's this giant panda bear, hence why I also give him that big 115 base HP. Uh, he's pretty damn tanky. 115, 88, 86 is solid. But uh, yeah, hustle means that coming off a of 134 base attack, you have effectively, let me do the math really quickly. This is me, just so I can see that plus one. With a neutral attack nature, even, you are still hitting uh, 550 attack. And that is like. Yeah, like 220-something base attack, or 225-ish. Whatever, 225-ish base attack, roughly. Um, and that's insane. That's incredibly powerful. There are other stronger hustle Pokemon. In fact, there's like quite a few of them. Uh, Nidoking, Ramanitan, Rampardos, uh, Rhydon, Agron. There's a bunch, you know, and there's other ones that are comparable as well, like Pinsir and all these other guys. So it's not like that power level is unique to Pangoro. A lot of Pokemon are just crazy strong at attack, but Pangoro really appreciates having that dual stab. So he has Sucker Punch and Mock Punch, which won't miss with Hustle. Those two alone make him incredible, as well as moves like Bullet Punch and First Impression. So those are all priority moves that will not miss flat out with your Hustle boost. Um, in addition, you also have Circle Throw, which is 90 base power, and that won't miss. So that's great, especially because you're pretty bulky. Uh, beat Up is actually really underrated. Um, beat Up is pretty damn strong if all six of your Pokemon are alive, because Pangoro has a very high base attack and of course that will not miss with hustle i'm listing all the hustle moves basically so beat up very strong punishment weaker 60 base power but that's good for totems especially and it's also just a nice consistent move that won't miss but punishment is especially good for totems when they have that omni boost or something punishment becomes extremely powerful um raging fury finishing blow both of those will give you plus well finishing blow gives you plus three attack when you knock the opponent out and it's pretty weak raging fury is 50 base power fire type coverage that beco becomes 100 base power if you move the last which you know pangoro is relatively slow so it probably will be in a lot of cases so that's really great and you of course get that plus one attack boost and that won't miss either uh power trip won't miss and it gives you plus one attack however it only has three pp just for balancing reasons but uh power trip is awesome you don't even need to run a boosting move with power trip you can just click it and get attack boost with hustle and then spam your priority moves and stuff with mock punch and sucker punch um sucker punch is also really good because it's just reteachable via tm same with first impression so you don't have to keep them all the time that's really nice uh stomping tantrum is another coverage move that can't miss that's relatively weak but with hustle it becomes much stronger uh shadow punch technically but not the best option because you're a dark type you don't really need that ghost move it's just there for flavor um there's a couple more hustle moves that i'm blanking on but overall those are the important ones uh especially that priority a hold back is really good for early game especially on pancham pancham in general is much better now because that 82 base attack becomes insane like i probably over 130 base attack equivalent definitely over 130 probably 140 ish mm, yeah roughly around 140 if i had to guess just around around there which is really great and you of course have that priority mock punch and bullet punch early game still so that's great uh scrappy is good on pancham just a nice little optional ability if you don't need the hustle power boost for certain boss fights and you don't want to risk that miss keep in mind that wide lens is also buffed to give a 15 percent accuracy boost um you also have home claws which you could use to boost your accuracy as well um you can even use home claws with inaccurate moves and not miss because home claws gives plus two accuracy so that's awesome uh headstrong if you are new here and you don't know what this does by now it's a move it's an ability sorry that prevents recoil okay so so Brutal Swing, Takedown, and Submission are stab recoil moves, Brutal Swing being 125 base power, Takedown being 110 base power, and uh, Submission being 150 base power, and also drops your defensive stats by one. Keep in mind that Headstrong does not remove the defense drop from Submission or Close Combat. Um, and also, you are a slow Pokemon, so 
you know, missing out on that. I mean, that Scarf Pangoro is totally viable in game with Headstrong to outspeed certain things. With max speed investment, you can definitely outspeed stuff. That's the beauty of what this hack is balanced around. It's balanced around switching between your abilities. It's balanced around switching between your EV spreads and your TMs and your tutor moves and making the most out of the Pokemon that you have on your team. You don't have to counter team every boss fight if you're smart about it. You can really just you know, use what you have. Um, but yeah, those, those are your stab moves. Very, very powerful moves right there that won't deal recoil anymore. Uh, Shell Bell also prevents recoil, almost. Uh, Shell Bell gets 20% recovery. So moves like Take Down, Rock Climb, Wild Charge, and Play Rough, which normally have 20% recoil and are 110 base power, will deal 0% recoil normally. But Headstrong is still a great ability because, of course, you don't have to use Shell Bell and then not the stronger moves. For example, uh, you have Wood Hammer um, and Brutal Swing, which are 125 base power recoil moves. And then I should probably give Double Edge on level up. Uh, I might do it after the video because it's just not that, you know, it's a normal type, so it's not that great on Pangoro. But, you know, for earlier in the game, it's nice. Uh, Woodhammer, very cool. I also like the idea of giving it like Woodhammer, Grassy Terrain, and stuff because of that little leaf it has in its mouth and because pandas eat bamboo and whatnot. Uh, great, great, good utility as well. I mean, it's tanky, it's got parting shot. Um, you can tank a hit and parting shot slowly out. You've got priority roar, you've got glare, which is buffed, you've got yawn and all this scary face and all this other useful uh, utility moves that you can take advantage of. You have slack off when you evolve, which is great because you're pretty damn tanky. Um, yeah, also you have headlong rush, which is the same as submission, but it's non-stab. Uh, I wouldn't run it in game unless I needed that power boost. I'd rather just click earthquake or seismic fist if I need to teach a ground type move or sonic tantrum if I'm running hustle. Um, sonic tantrum with hustle being stronger than earthquake with headstrong, for example. Of course, earthquake with hustle is, is stronger, but then you risk the mischance, which in a hardcore nuzlocke, which is kind of what this hack is balanced around, could be life or death, but you are pretty damn tanky, so you can actually afford to miss, which is nice. Um, you can always just slack off and then try to attack them again. You don't have to run the no miss moves, but honestly, all those moves are great enough already. You don't even need to run anything. You could literally just slap on Mach Punch, Sucker Punch, First Impression, you, and then like Parting Shot and just never switch around your moves if you don't want to. Um, those four moves are all in, like perfect for Pangoro. So yeah. Um, in general, he's just he's just, he's just a goat. I don't know what else to say. Very, very strong. Um, similar stats to the other bear Pokemon. They are he is slower than Bear Tick and Urza Ring just because of the nature of what he is. He has more HP though, because of, again, the fact that he's a lot fatter and bigger than they are. Uh, they both have 135 attack. He has 134, same thing, basically. Uh, and of course they all have different abilities and whatnot, but I think it's pretty cool. And they have similar bulk as well. So yeah, uh, of course, Bear Tick and Urza Ring have Intimidate though, so they're bulkier than Pangoro with that active. In general, awesome, awesome buffs for Pangoro, though. Uh, I could touch on a few more things, but I think I covered about everything. Uh, you also don't need Hustle or Headstrong to be a good Pokemon. Like, you can just run regular attacking moves and not run Hustle. But if you're running the priority moves, there's no reason not to run Hustle. Um, unless you're running, like, a Headstrong set with Sucker Punch, which is totally, you know, fair. But other than that, I have, I think I covered about everything. Uh, you got a bunch of other really cool, fun, strong moves that you could take advantage of, like Hammer Arm and Payback and all that other stuff late game. Uh, drain Punch is nice on bulkier sets. Assault Vest would be pretty great. You know, typical bulky Pokemon thing. Uh, bulk is not as great as it might seem. Uh, Dark, fighting Dark is not that great of a typing anymore. Uh, it never was, but it's also weak to bug now. Keep that in mind because fighting doesn't resist bug anymore. So it does have a decent amount of weaknesses and not too many useful resistances, but it has enough. You know, it's resistant. Four times the Dark is pretty great. That's a good resist to have. Um, and in general, it's, it's got what it needs. So yeah, thanks so much for listening, everybody. Hopefully you found these buffs, you know, satisfactory, uh, entertaining commentary, all that good stuff that I always try to aim for. I'm rambling too much, so I'm going to end the video off there. Thanks so much for listening, everybody. I'll be back for more Kalos Pokemon coming up. Peace.